misplaced or dangling modifiers. Writers need to be careful where they place prepositional, participial, or infinitive phrases. A misplaced modifier is a phrase that appears to modify a word other than the one the writer intended to modify. A misplaced modifier can confuse the reader. Let's look at some examples. Here's a confusing sentence. Jake arrived home from farming and fell on the sofa covered in dirt. Covered in dirt is the participial phrase. Is it describing the sofa? Was the sofa covered in dirt? Or was Jake covered in dirt? Here's the revised version. Covered in dirt, Jake arrived home from farming and fell on the sofa. Now covered in dirt is describing Jake. Here's another confusing one. Missy watched her daughter drive off through the window. Through the window is a prepositional phrase. Is it telling where her daughter drove off through or where Missy watched? Here's a revised version. Through the window, Missy watched her daughter drive off. Now through the window is describing how Missy watched. A dangling modifier is a phrase that is intended to modify a word that does not appear in the sentence. It dangles in the sentence because it doesn't have anything to connect to. Here's a confusing example. At nine years old, my parents were divorced. At nine years old, that's a prepositional phrase, but what, who is it referring to? My parents? Were my parents nine years old? Here's a revised version. When I was nine years old, my parents were divorced. Now we have I was in there, which clarifies who was nine years old. Here's another confusing example. Taped to the wall, Evan read the note. That paints a pretty picture, doesn't it? Evan's taped to the wall. Here's a revised version. Evan read the note that was taped to the wall. Now, taped to the wall is describing note. 